The Argentinian government and two hedge funds involved in a debt restructuring dispute have agreed to meet for a second time with a US court mediator in an attempt to resolve a 12-year legal battle. The parties must find a solution to the problem by the end of July or Argentina risks a catastrophic 95 billion US dollar default. In 2002, Argentina was involved in a default, then the world's biggest. The so-called vulture funds moved in and bought Argentinian government bonds at rock-bottom prices. Argentina then negotiated a deal to restructure its debt with 92% of its creditors, except for the holdout investors that had demanded repayment in full. In June, a US court ruled Argentina must repay the entire $1.3 billion of debt plus interest to the hedge funds. Buenos Aires refused and attempted to pay only those investors which agreed to the restructuring. The US courts blocked the payments, saying Argentina must treat all creditors equally. Argentine officials have said the country will not pay the holdout investors, arguing it could face potential demands for up to $17 billion from others not involved in this case. That's an amount representing more than half of the government's $28.5 billion in foreign currency reserves. The dispute has now moved to the court of public opinion, with both sides taking out adverts in the world's major newspapers. Argentina claims it's being pushed into debt at a time when the country is slipping into recession and accuses the hedge funds of blatant profiteering. Argentina paid and wants to continue paying under reasonable conditions, under feasible conditions. But we're facing a situation where we're not being allowed to do that. Just 1% are endangering the agreement that was agreed upon by all the other bondholders. The default deadline comes as candidates move into position ahead of the 2015 general election. Despite the tough public stance from both parties, the markets believe a deal will be done. We're joined now from Buenos Aires by Fausto Espatorno, chief economist with Orlando Ferreres and Associates. Hello, Fausto. Hola, Fausto. What's the probability Argentina's government will again default on its debts as it did in 2002? Will there be agreement in the US? I think the likelihood of Argentina defaulting is very small, very, very small. The reality is that no country is going to commit this kind of financial suicide. A default would not suit Argentina, it would not suit the holdouts, it wouldn't suit anybody. And it doesn't seem too difficult to find a solution. It is technically complex but from a political point of view it doesn't seem too complicated. And does Argentina have sufficient reserves to pay? We're talking 15 billion dollars including interest. In cash, no. Argentina's reserves right now are a little over 29 billion dollars. Using 15 billion to pay for this lawsuit would be too much. The figures we have are there's 1.5 or 1.6 billion from this particular lawsuit. Then there's another 10 billion dollars worth that's the subject of legal proceedings now and can be quickly sorted out in the way that this solution has been reached. In addition, there's still $5 billion, which is not yet the subject of legal proceedings in New York, or that has not even been presented for swaps, debt exchanges. Out of the $17 billion at current values, only $15 billion will be subject to a final judgment and receive 100% of the value of the bonds. As Argentina doesn't have the cash reserves, it will have to issue some sort of debt or find someone to finance Argentina paying out these judgments. In fact, just the rumour that Argentina is currently resolving the problem of the holdouts made the bonds rise and interest rates fall. This is happening exactly when Argentina is not in a very good economy 
economic state. Do you think the stance taken by President Cristina Fernández is the most appropriate? No, I don't think so. I think this default situation has been mismanaged since 2001 when it started, up until now. Argentina made a mistake when it announced a default without being legally ready to deal with it. Then it waited too long to offer a first swap debt restructuring. And when it eventually did a first swap, it was only accepted by 76% of debt holders. For those bonds that require 100% repayment, I think that was very low. In fact, all these hedge funds that launched legal proceedings and won against Argentina are funds that bought the bonds after the first swap. If Argentina had managed the first swap in 2005 better than it did, probably what happened later would not have occurred. One last question I have to ask as Argentina has reached the final of the World Cup. If the team wins, will that have a beneficial effect on the country's economy? No, this can help the president's image for, at the most, a month. But Argentina is dealing with recession, with job destruction, at least in the legal economy, and rampant inflation. Inflation this year will reach nearly 40%. Right now, it's already at an annual rate of 41.4%, so any benefit of a World Cup victory would soon disappear. Thank you, Fausto Espatorno, Chief Economist with Orlando Ferreras and Associates, for your analysis on the risk of Argentina's bankruptcy.